back to my channel. I don't know what day of Vlogmas it is and I'm gonna just apologize right now because I know I missed a few days of Vlogmas and I'm so sorry. I just had to catch up on some other things in life and I just couldn't get I couldn't get done what I thought I could get done, so I am sorry about that, but I'm back today with another video, and today's video is going to be a favorites video. Um, I was going to make it a monthly favorites, like favorites of like November 2020, but I think it'll just be all of 2020 favorites because I've been using some of these a little bit longer, so... Let's just get started. These flavors are gonna consist of different types of things. Honestly, things that are kind of random. I have like some room stuff. Most of it is hair and makeup. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. So with our favorite number one, it's going to be this Julius Place palette. It is the Saharian Blush Volume One. I think it's Volume One. Yeah, Volume One. And this is a makeup palette. I literally recently got it from Ulta. This is what it looks like. It was on sale for $9. Don't clock me and get out of this video because no, this whole video is not going to be just makeup. But yeah, it was on sale for $9 and it's really, really good, especially for women of color because the tones of this palette are very warm, I want to say. And I don't know about you, but I don't really like full toned anything. I mean, I guess some people do, but not me really. So that's my first favorite. My second favorite will have to be this Honey Manuka Cleanser. I got this from Walmart. It was probably like $7. It says calming, moisturizing, and soothing. And honestly, at first I doubted it, but my skin has been looking pretty good lately. And this is the one I've been using my skin as my cleanser. It's been working pretty well. I use it with a bunch of other things, but I think that if you're looking for something simple, like if your skin is, it doesn't need as much, like it doesn't need a lot for it to be okay, then I think that's a good choice, especially because it's very low priced and it's very good. So. That's my favorite number two. My third favorite is this Picture Perfect Day Daily Moisturizer. I got this a few months ago. I am starting to run a little bit low, but it's about, it's like right here. But I will say it's lasted a lot longer than I thought. I got it before I went to college. So I probably got it in like May and it's December. So, and I use it every day. So I got it, it's about right here. And it's honestly lasted really long and I definitely recommend it. People say this brand isn't good, Formula 10, but this is working really good for me and it has SPF 15 and you can tell because it smells like sunscreen a little, but it works really good and it keeps your skin really moisturized. It almost gives it a glow and I really recommend it. It's guava and vitamin C, so I'm not no esthetician or nothing, so don't ask me about no skin products, but that's what I use and it works for me. The next favorite I have is my mini Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Yes, it's mini because they had a mini set and it was $12.50 at Ulta and I've been using it. I never got Fenty Beauty for it because, I don't know, I just never really reached for it. I thought it was really overhyped, but turns out it's not. It's actually really good and this is one of the things that came in it. And it's really glossy. I have it on right now. And I love this lip gloss because it's not sticky, but it's really, really shiny. And usually when you get a really, really shiny gloss, it's really sticky. So I'm really glad that I got it because it makes me feel really luxurious and stuff. <laughs> and along with that set came this Fenty Beauty. I think, I think it's one of her like diamond duster things. Well, very little people. It's one of her little diamond duster things because it looks like this on the inside. Ignore the stain, the brown stain, because I used to have a highlighter brush in here that was not clean. Just don't do that. And it also comes with a little mirror. Like, this is honestly so cute and it's so good. It looks like literal glitter, like you're a fairy dusted on your face, like pixie dust. And I really love it, so I definitely recommend it. The next hair I have is my e.l.f. concealer. I know it looks a little dusty. But that's because I've been using it for so long. I use it all the time. It's really good. It's the only concealer. Well, I used to, but it's one of the only concealers I use, and it's lasted a really long time. It's really big too. It's six dollars, and it's the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer with a satin finish. I usually get a satin finish and not a matte or like um, what's it called, dewy one, because I feel like satin's a good or uh, right in the middle one. And I really recommend that concealer. It's long lasting and it's really, really pigmented. It's really high coverage. All on concealers, I guess I'll give you, I guess I'll tell you about my She Glam Concealer. 
this concealer is actually from Shein. It's kind of new. I mean, at first I didn't really like it, but more recently I've been liking it more and I've been using it more. It's my lighter concealer. I have these two that I use and this one is more so my skin tone. So that's the difference in my concealers, but I do use both of them and I think they're really good and they work really good together. So yeah, I think the concealer was only maybe like $6. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember, but I think it's around that price. So if you're looking for some good concealers that are in a lower price range, then I recommend those. And the last thing I have for makeup, well, second to last, but this is my last makeup product, like actual product, is my LA Girl Brow Pomade. A lot of times people ask me what I use on my eyebrows or like any good brow pomades, and I really recommend this one. It has a hole in it because I haven't used it. But it's lasted really long. I got it a long time ago, honestly, probably like six months ago. And I do my eyebrows a lot, nearly every day, so. But it's really, really good. It's matte and it's really creamy, so it's easy to spread around and things like that. And I definitely recommend it if you need it, if you need anything for your brows. I don't really use eyebrow pencils. I know some people do, but I'm not really an eyebrow pencil kind of girl. And this is a really good pomade. I think it's like $4.50 or like $5. It's really good. Those are my key makeup essentials. If you're into like that everyday look, then those are some really good products. I promise you they are. And I want to because... I'm a makeup artist. I used to be a makeup artist, so yeah. The next thing in my favorites is actually a part of skincare, and they are these little silicone face scrubbers. You use them when you wash your face. Ooh, this smells like rose <laughs> But yeah, I just recently started using these, and you just use them with your cleanser, and they're cheap. They're from the dollar store, and I know some, like, I know they sell them at Five Below and stuff, but I just forgot to get it at Five Below, but I did go to the dollar store because I got some cotton balls and q-tips and things so I got these as well and I think they're really really good and you know what I recommend them 10 out of 10 quality I think they actually are clearing up my skin too because when you get to scrubbing it's kind of really fun so you just keep scrubbing and scrubbing, scrubbing until you're done and it really works and the next thing I have for my favorites is this sulfur 8 medicated anti-dandruff conditioner dandruff treatment for braids I know what it sounds like. Yes, I have a dry scalp, but I feel like when anyone gets braids, they have a dry scalp. Like you just, your scalp gets itchy, especially with the synthetic hair and everything. And I really recommend this for your scalp when you have braids, especially if it's earlier, like you only have them in for like a week or two weeks and they're starting to itch and flake a little bit, then I really recommend just spraying that in there and it gets rid of that, it gets rid of the itch. It actually works really good. And Sulfur A brand is really good anyway, so that's how you know that's good. But I really recommend it if you need a braid spray. My black women, of course. That's really good. <laughs> and last but not least, I have my Febreze Air Mist Cotton Fresh Spray. It smells so good, like, I have a room spray from Bath & Body Works, but ever since I got this, this is what I've been using. It smells so good. It was $3. It was on sale. I got it from Gabe's. I don't know if everyone has a Gabe's, but I got it from Gabe's. It smells like fresh. Like, it just smells like a fresh breeze. Like, it honestly smells so, so good. I recommend it 10 out of 10 for your room. I don't know about you, but I like to have my room smelling good, especially after I clean it up and it looks nice and neat. Not like right now, but after I clean it up and it looks nice and neat, then... I like to spray that and it smells really, really good. So I definitely recommend it. So I already stopped recording, but I forgot to mention a few things. I'm sorry, this is a little bootleg, but I also wanted to mention this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's really, really good. Nobody uses actual beauty blenders anymore. Sorry, but they're like $20 and who's spending that? Oh my God, don't look at my eyelash hanging off. But yeah, this is a really, really good beauty blender. It gets really big and it comes with a case. I think it was like $5. I don't know, I'm kind of cheap, so as you can tell but i definitely recommend it okay i don't know why i kept cutting me off but i was saying i recommend my emerald crush body spray it's from victoria's secret and i recommend it for an everyday body spray especially for my people who like honestly just have a job or something and they just want to be smelling pretty good just for something regular and they don't want to waste their expensive perfume so i definitely recommend my body spray right there it's from victoria's secret and that is the last thing in my favorite video okay bye so that is all i have for my favorites video today i hope you guys really enjoyed my video and i'll be back tomorrow with another one i swear i'll be back tomorrow so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram and i'll see you again in my next video bye